Right, so um, what we need to do in some cases will be to uh, mark uh, and cut a housing in one end of the um, sound box so that the neck will fit so it will go in something like that. You need to do this before you get that far, before you put it together. So, take one of your end pieces, or maybe two if you're doing it go right the way across, but we'll do it in one first of all. Um, you've got your uh, neck piece of the instrument there. What you want to do is to mark out a, a housing, so we're going to mark out a, a little slot in there that that's going to fit into. So put it on top and get it central, so that's 55 millimeters. Uh, that's 58, so we just move it across a little bit. Like that. When you've done that, use your pencil, make a little mark there and there. Just a mark, that's all. Don't go right the way across, because you need to mark it out with this tool next, which is the square, and you hold that like that. Put a pencil in the mark, slide it up to it, and you're holding it three fingers, one finger and one thumb. If you can pick the wood and the square up properly, up together, you are holding it properly. Draw across, and then down the side, there, and there. Same on the other end. Pencil in, slide it up. Three fingers, one finger, one thumb. So that gives us the two lines that we need to saw down. The next thing we need to know is how far to saw. We don't want to go all the way. We need to know where to stop. So to do that, we need to mark a line parallel to that edge, and we use this tool to do that. This is called the marking gauge. We put our pencil in the end, the hole in the end, and slide the, the thick part, called the stock, along and do it up with that screw. Now the distance between the point of the pencil and the edge of the stock needs to be the same as the piece of plywood we're going to fit in the housing. So set it like that, so that the point of the pencil is exactly the same distance from the stock as the thickness of the plywood. Tighten that up, and then hold it like this, three fingers, one finger, one thumb, and then drag it down the side of the wood. The pencil should point away from you. We've marked out the housing. It's a good idea to shade what's going to be the waste, the bit that you're going to cut out, like that, so that it's quite clear what you're doing. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to saw down the sides of there and there with the mitre saw, and then we're going to chisel out uh, the, the waste piece out the middle there. So, first thing to do is to go to the mitre saw and put your piece of work in there. You need to be cutting on the waist side of the line, that's the inside in this case. And you might find, if your fingers aren't as strong as they could be, you might find it easier to uh, get a G-clamp to hold that against the, uh, the backstop there. Cut to the line and a fraction below would be fine. And then turn it round, put the other piece in. And there we are. Now what we need to do next is to chisel across there to remove this piece, shaded piece. So I'll take this out of the vise. And we'll put our piece of work in the vise like that. Take a chisel and a mallet. Now the sort of chisel we want is a wide one, 25mm or 1 inch wide chisel. Um, it's a sharp one, so be careful with it when you carry it from the cupboard. It should be pointed downwards and held by the handle. Right, so what you're doing is standing <coughs> beside the vise, behind the vise and beside it, and then putting the chisel flat side down and halfway between the top and the, and the line, just angle it up slightly and just tap and remove the waste. As you go, you get down towards the line, take a little bit off each time. And then, turn it round and do the same thing from the other side. 
If you angle it up, there's less chance of you splitting the wood on, uh, on the other side. Now this is fairly straightforward, but wood being a natural material is a bit unpredictable at times, and you'll see, sometimes, you'll see a knot in the wood, and you need to avoid that. There's one there, just a little tiny knot there. If you can avoid those when you do your marking out, do so, um, because sometimes they affect the way the wood splits. And that should be about it. So take your the neck of your instrument, and it should be a nice tight fit in there. If you haven't gone down quite far enough, you'll need to look. And there's a little bit there I could probably take out of. Take out, put it back in the vise, and just very gently chisel. Now, safety when using the chisel, do not do that only have the wood in the vise. You don't hold the wood with your hand, you hold it in the vise and you keep all your fingers behind the cutting edge of the chisel. Now let's just try again. Yep, that should be fine. That will be screwed in there with some glue um, when you put it together.